Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're going to look at another Beast Hunters figure. It's a Cyberverse Commander figure, and it is Trail Cutter. Um, yeah, I kind of picked this up. I was debating whether I actually wanted to get this guy or not, and I went ahead and picked him up just on a whim. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of glad I did, uh, because I, Trail Cutter, or Trail Breaker, actually, is the, the character's name uh, from G1. Uh, th this character is getting a revival. He's getting a Generations figure coming out soon. I cannot wait for that. We just had a Legends figure, G1-style Legends figure put out, which was pretty cool, but I uh, can't wait for the uh, Generations version. So I figured pick this version up. Um, unfortunately, he's not in the show, uh, which I think this would have been a great character to introduce, maybe at least one or two episodes. Um, take a look at the package real fast. So here's Trail Cutter. He's an Autobot Commando. He's got a, a Howler missile launcher, which is interesting. Of course, we got the standard Beast Wars logo up here. His tech specs, right here is his little uh, card. Um, kind of hard to see. I'll, I'll go over that. Uh, he's a Series 3, number 5. His technical data on his little card here. His strength of a 6. Yeah, I can see that. Intelligence of a 7. It's a bit high, I think, for Trailbreaker. Uh, speed of a 5, that's about right. Endurance 7, sure. Rank of a 5, absolutely. Courage of a 6, you know, that may be a 7 instead of a 6. Fire Blast of a 6, sure. Skill of a 5, right. I mean, really about the intelligence is the only thing that's really super off for me on that one. Nothing really on the bottom. Um, here's the back of the packaging that just kind of shows us uh, Trail Cutter or Trail Breaker, whatever you want to call him, in both uh, robot mode and SUV mode, even though the SUV is actually a pickup truck. I don't know kind of weird, kind of odd. But yeah, so there it is. Uh, let's get this guy out of the package and see what we think of his robot mode. All right, so here we have Trail Cutter or Trail Breaker or whatever you want to call him out of package. And I got to say, he does look pretty decent. He's a nice bulky character. This would make a really nice um, Voyager figure, if not a deluxe figure. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. He's got the G1 color scheme. Love the black and red. Just looks really nice. Now his Face sculpt. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't look anything like the G1 version, but uh, it looks more like a Transformers animated uh, sculpt than it does a Transformers Prime sculpt, uh, which is okay because I like animated. Uh, but yeah, it looks kind of interesting. Now, I do like... He's got these little tiny Autobot logo there, but I do like these two guns. Uh, they can mount up like that if you so want to, but they're supposed to be down there. we got these nice big blade-looking things on his arms that make for nice-looking weapons. They call him a commando, but I think he'd make a pretty good wrecker. Uh, I mean, he just flat looks like he'd be a wrecker. He's a big, bulky guy. Um, love the windshield on his chest. I uh, love the yellow on the sides of his arms. And, of course, the gold up here just looks really nice. They did a good job with this. It's unfortunate we won't see this character on the show, and it's unfortunate we won't see a larger version of this. But at least we'll get a Generations uh, figure, a G1 Generations figure coming out. Uh, which will be pretty nice. Now, he comes with this weapon, which is his gun, but it really looks, I think, cooler as a big, nasty club. Um, goes in his hand. Obviously, he just kind of holds it. It's got, much like the Insecticon weapon, um, it's got this little gimmick that you can spin part of it there, so it kind of rotates around. Um, very strange. Uh, the detail on it's pretty good. It just looks kind of like a big nasty, nasty club. So yeah, um, all in all, definitely dig him. Uh, his hands are a little disappointing with the truck piece come up around there, but it is a Cyberverse figure. You can't really complain too much about it. So there he is, Trail Cutter. Let's look at him in his vehicle mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have uh, Trail Cutter or Trail Breaker in his vehicle mode. And you know what? It's not a bad vehicle mode. Or vehicle mode. It's a very good transformation. I was very impressed by it. It, it transforms like a Voyager class figure would. Uh, it's just on a much smaller scale. I mean, he's a pretty robust pickup truck. I don't know why they call him an SUV. He's got this snow plow thing going on in the front, looking all um, tough. And he's got his weapons deployed out here. Now, it would have been nice if these... Um, could be folded in or hidden somehow. I think that would have been a really nice additive, um, but 
it as a, a Cyberverse figure. If this had made a deluxe figure, I'm sure that would have. And he's got these funky spoilers um, on the top, which is kind of weird. Of course, this is the Beast, uh, Beast Wars, Beast Hunters uh, line. Uh, beast something, one of those beastie things, and uh, you know they gotta have these weird spikes and fins and things. But it'd been nice if they would have flipped downward. I think that would have made the truck look a little bit better. The bed's kind of eh, not particularly care for that. The back end looks pretty good. I wish they would have painted some uh, tail lights on him. Um, but the detail's pretty good on the bed of the uh, the back of the truck. Um, you know the wheels are okay. I look the yellow uh, stripe going on here. He's got the golden. Um, headlights up front. All in all, it looks pretty tough. I like the painted uh, windows. Unfortunately, the secondary window back here, while it has some nice detail around it, not painted, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. But overall, I mean, he looks really, really good. I'm really digging this guy. His weapon can be mounted on the side and these little ports on the side, and there's also a port up here on the front. Uh, but yeah, I don't particularly care for that. The other interesting thing is on the top, he's kind of got these hatch ports Kind of like it was a tank, so I mean that's kind of interesting. But overall, I mean it looks pretty decent. It's different. Uh, I would like to see some red. They would just put some red highlights in the back here on the vehicle. I think that would have helped. Um, overall, it's pretty decent. Uh, the overall likability of this figure is pretty nice. I'm not one for cyber figures. I don't like those small figures, but uh, these commander ones, uh, like the Insecticon and uh, this guy, have actually turned out to be pretty decent, and uh, you know I've been impressed. I think they're a little little expensive for what they are. I think ten bucks is a bit extreme for something like this, but overall, I mean, it's not a bad little figure. So if you're a Trailbreaker figure, um, you definitely probably gonna want to pick this up if you haven't already. Uh, he's not that common of a figure. Uh, he and Hardshell, I think, are short packed in the newer cases. But if you see one, uh, you know, you might want to pick him up. I enjoyed it. I like him. So um, I really look forward to the Generations figure that's coming out uh, later this summer. So there he is, Trail Cutter, Trail Breaker, whatever you want to call him, um, in his vehicle mode. So thanks for watching, guys, and look for more videos in the future.